a massive game would be an understatement here tonight as the Class AAA number three rated Hurricane Redskins with a record of 5-1 and one, coming off a 56-42 road victory over a very good Princeton team is set to host undefeated in Class AAA number one Cabell Midland. Good evening and welcome to Jim McGee Field inside Redskins Stadium. I'm Jack Wither alongside Derek Riggle. And our video productions crew, we are delighted to bring you live streaming coverage of Hurricane Football presented by Putnam Career and Technical Center. Putnam Career and Technical Center is now enrolling for exciting adult learning opportunities. Register now for our certified medical assistant programming with in-person and virtual classes or our heavy equipment operator, where you will be learning hands-on on how to operate bulldozers, skid steers, excavators, and more. Both programs will have you certified and on path to a fulfilling career in as little as six months. Don't wait. Classes begin in January. Call now, 304-586-3494, extension 4406, or visit us online at pctc.edu. PCB is a long-standing partner in our community. We're your neighbors, your teammates, and your friends. And we want to be your banker. We're a team of experienced professionals focused on the personal, residential, and business needs of our community. We make decisions locally, quickly, and with your best interest in mind. We care about you, your family, your business, and your goals. We're PCB, a proud community bank. Open an account with us today. I'm Dr. Chad Lavender. My fertilized ACL technique has gained national and international attention. It all started here on a small football field in West Virginia. That's where my passion to help athletes and others began. I personally have had uh, 19 uh, different states and locations that patients have traveled from uh, for this ACL reconstruction. is where we live, work, and play. It's in the small, quiet moments and the memories we capture. For 35 years, we've been here with you, building home together. Little General Stores has been serving West Virginia communities for almost five decades. We are so grateful to be a small part of your lives, and we want to recognize the integral part of our operation, the LG family. You keep us going. Thank you. Four, five, six. Welcome back inside Jim McGee Field here at Redskins Stadium. Hurricane and Campbell Midland set to tangle here tonight. I'm Jack Wither alongside my partner, Derek Regal. Buddy, how you doing? You're I'm looking doing, dapper again tonight. I'm doing well. Well, we're, you know, we're undefeated when I've been wearing this shirt and tie, so I figured <laughs> I'd stay I'd stay with it. So you're bringing us a little luck here tonight. I, I hope. I don't, you know, I don't know. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Big game, as you can see on your screen, head coach for WVU football, Neil Brown in the house tonight. Of course, he's taking a look at a couple of W commits here tonight for yep. both teams, mm -hmm. uh, plus uh, some other – players uh, for both teams in interest for W as well as Marshall and other schools here around the state. So big time matchup here tonight. It's the 20th meeting between these two Mountain State Athletic Conference foes as Campbell Midland owns a 13 and 6 all time record over Hurricane. But looking at the history, Derek, uh, of this matchup, there's been a lot of tightly contested battles between these two. Yeah, I mean, you know, being a Hurricane grad, you know, obviously our biggest rival is always Winfield, and I'd say after Winfield, this is our next biggest rival. Um, it's always usually a pretty competitive game between these two teams. Um, you know, Midland does own the overall uh, uh, series with the most, more wins, but uh, it's usually a pretty close competitive game, and, and I look for it to be that way again tonight. Yep, of course, Redskins snapped a three-game losing streak to the Knights last year down in Ona. It was a 35-14 victory for Hurricane. Take a look at the head coaches here tonight. These are two veteran coaches here around the Mountain State Athletic Conference. Of course, you've got Ravenswood native in Luke Salmons in his uh -huh. 12th year at the helm of the Cabell Midland program. Salmons, of course, graduated from Ravenswood High School, went on, 
that played at Marshall University. He's got a record of 112 and 34, and he has done a tremendous job at Cabell Midland. Yeah, he's been a winner at, at both of his stops at the high school level. He came from uh, Lawrence County, right. Kentucky, um, and then went uh, now at Cabell Midland. Um, actually, two of my roommates from college coached with Luke at, at, at Lawrence County, Jimmy Skinner and Matt Altabello, um, and they're both doing well now coaching in the high school ranks in Kentucky and over in Moorfield, West Virginia. But, yeah, Luke's been a winner. Um, the only thing really that he hasn't done is, is get a state title. That's the one yeah. thing that's eluded him. But he's done just about everything else you could do here in West Virginia as a, as a coach except do that. And he's got another team that's in the runnings for uh, another state title or a chance at a state title. Right. Of course, on the other side for Hurricane head coach Donnie Mays, a Clendenin native. And, of course, he graduated from Herbert Hoover High School in his second year here as the head coach for the Redskins. A West Virginia University graduate. Mays also was the head coach at South Charleston High for nine seasons. His overall record is 70 and 47. Now, I already talked about the big come from behind victory for Hurricane last week down in Princeton. And what an odd uh, uh, events that took place yeah. just for them to get to Princeton. Yeah, I think the bus didn't leave until around like 4, 4 30, something like that. And then there was traffic in Charleston or on the turnpike I'm not sure exactly where but they ran into some traffic on the way down there and I think they didn't game was supposed to start at 7 30 I think right and they didn't get off the bus until close to eight maybe even after eight o'clock right um so and they had a real rushed warm-up um weather wasn't particular great and uh it was just a you know a uh big sequence of events that didn't really go in their favor and um I think it showed at the beginning of the game but they were able to overcome that adversity and uh able to uh, come back with a victory. Yeah, I talked to uh, Coach Mays this week, and I was like, is that your game plan to, like, spot people like 28, 21 <laughs> points? He's like, yeah. no, that is not the game plan. Yeah. <laughs> and, he's, of course, he said, if we do it this week, they'll just roll us over. Uh, they cannot afford to uh, – uh, let Cabell Midland get out to a big lead. Yeah, I don't think you want to do this with this Cabell Midland team. I mean, they are loaded with talent. Not to take anything away from Princeton, but it, you know, I don't think this is a team you're going to be able to get off to a slow start against. Of course, Cabell Midland coming off a 42-14 home victory last week over Musselman. Uh, in that one, Robert Shockey, 7-14, threw one interception, 71 yards, but he rushed for two touchdowns on 11 carries last year or last week, excuse me, he's been solid as that quarterback. Of course, he's a, tra a transfer from Parkersburg South. Yep. Also, yep. Curtis Jones, 167 yards last week on just nine carries, three touchdowns against Musselman. Curtis Jones, a commit to W. Of course, Neil Brown here tonight uh -huh. to uh, watch Mr. Jones. So that ought to be a good one here tonight as we take a look at the keys to the victory. First up for Cabell Midland defense. You just got to limit the big plays downfield. Yep. Hurricane, they come in, they've got some weapons, they've got some speed on the outside. Yeah, I mean, the, you know, explosive plays are, are something that Hurricane does well, um, something they're going to need to do well tonight is if they want to have a chance to win this ball game. Of course, Hurricane, or excuse me, Cabell Mill on defense, swarm the ball, gang tackle, things like that. Of course, those are normal things that they've got to do for keys on a play. Offensively for Cabell Mill, establish a, a, a run game early. Yeah, I mean, that's that's been Luke's bread and butter at, a, at all of his stops. I think they're trying to pass the ball a little bit more this year, but they want to establish that ground game, slow down that fast-paced Hurricane offense, and keep them off the field and really control the clock. For Hurricane, keys to victory tonight, defense, create turnovers, create havoc. Yeah. Uh, and also discipline, again, swarm to the ball. And don't allow Midland to get into that offensive rhythm. Yeah, they're really going to have to be strong in their tackling and, like you said, create some turnovers, get a couple extra possessions, and uh, not allow Midland to control that clock by letting them hold on to the ball for a long periods of time. Of course, offensively for a Hurricane, establish that fast-paced offense. You already talked about it. And wear that defense down. That's what they did so good last year. Yeah. Um, you know, I've, I've, something I've noticed about Cal Midland when I was looking over the, the depth chart here, they've got some guys that typically don't play both ways, playing both ways. Right. You've got Robert Shockey playing defense, Curtis Jones, Cannon Lewis, and Michael Lunsford, who are all Division One prospects. So you, you would expect them to play both ways. Um, but, you know, if they can get that fast pace and kind of wear those guys down on defense, it should hurt their offense a little bit too. Of course, Hurricane, they want to attack those edges, quick route, set up that vertical attack, and utilize that speed. And as always, for offense, no turnovers. Right. We've got about 10 minutes to go before kickoff. We'll step aside once again. Then when we come back, 
We'll take a look at some starting lineups and the kickoff. Hurricane and Campbell Midland coming up next on Video Productions. Putnam Career and Technical Center is now enrolling for exciting adult learning opportunities. Register now for our certified medical assistant programming with in-person and virtual classes or our heavy equipment operator, where you will be learning hands-on on how to operate bulldozers, skid steers, excavators, and more. Both programs will have you certified and on path to a fulfilling career in as little as six months. Don't wait. Classes begin in January. Call now, 304-586-3494, extension 4406, or visit us online at pctc.edu. PCB is a long-standing partner in our community. We're your neighbors, your teammates, and your friends. And we want to be your banker. We're a team of experienced professionals focused on the personal, residential, and business needs of our community. We make decisions locally, quickly, and with your best interest in mind. We care about you, your family, your business, and your goals. We're PCB, a proud community bank. Open an account with us today. I'm Dr. Chad Lavender. My fertilized ACL technique has gained national and international attention. It all started here on a small football field in West Virginia. That's where my passion to help athletes and others began. I personally have had uh, 19 uh, different states and locations that patients have traveled from uh, for this ACL reconstruction. is where we live, work, and play. It's in the small, quiet moments and the memories we capture. For 35 years, we've been here with you, building home together. Little General Stores has been serving West Virginia communities for almost five decades. We are so grateful to be a small part of your lives, and we want to recognize the integral part of our operation, the LG family. You keep us going. Thank you. Welcome back to McGee Heat Field here at Redskins Stadium in Hurricane, West Virginia. Jack with her alongside Derek Rago. We've got number one, Cattle Midland, coming in at 7-0, 5-0 in conference play for the Knights, and Hurricane at 5-1 overall. 3-1 and one in the MSAC as we take a look at the starters. First four, the Knights offense. The quarterback, Robert Shockey, 6'2", 195-pound senior. His offensive line tonight is left tackle Mason Ramsey. Ben Williams will be the left guard. Braylon Ryder, the center tonight for the Knights. Right guard is Matt Edwards and Caleb Parlier, the right tackle tonight. Starting in the backfield, Curtis Jones, the 6'2", 215-pound senior. Again, 167 yards on nine carries and three touchdowns last week against Musselman for the West Virginia University commit. Then at the wide receiver, you'll see Javon Goodrich, uh, the starter out there, along with Caden Bowen for the Campbell Midland Knights defense. On front is... Logan Gillespie, the defensive end, tackle Gage Rowley, Michael Lunsford up top. They've got him penciled in as the nose tackle. Defensive end, Carson Goo. Then the linebackers at the wheel linebacker, Trace Atkins, six foot, 205 pound senior. Cannon Lewis, the 6'2, 225 pound senior. Cannon Lewis committed to North Carolina State. Of course, Lunsford, Lunsford I failed to mention, is committed to Marshall. Mm -hmm. And then you've got at the Sam linebacker, they've got penciled in Curtis Jones at that spot. Cornerback, Caden Bowen, along with the other cornerback on the other side, Jaden Branch, and then Robert Shockey and Landon Nida, the junior, at the safety spots. For Hurricane, first their offense, their quarterback is senior, 6'2", 200-pound, Ja'Kai Long, a Marshall commit, 55 of 93 on the season, just two interceptions, 791 yards and 12 touchdowns for Long. The big guys up front for the Hurricane offense. Left tackle, 6'5", 290-pound sophomore, Deron Parks, along with 6'3", 275-pound senior, Caleb Conrad on the left side. The center is Owen Duffy, 5'11", 235-pound senior. At the right guard is Drake Lanham, 6'3", 
255 junior, and at the right tackle is Ethan Chill. Chill, 6'3", 240-pound junior. At the running back position, Noah Velatabi, the 6-foot, 200-pound junior. 93 carries on the season, 731 yards and 13 touchdowns. He averages 8 yards per, per carry. Also, we'll see sophomore Kylan Grace, 5'10", 190-pound sophomore. 44 carries on the season, 359 yards and 5 touchdowns. The receivers for Hurricane, Tyshawn Dunes, the W commit, 5'11", 175-pound junior. 23 catches on the season, 364 yards and 7 touchdowns. His brother, LaRon Dews, a 5'9", 165-pound sophomore, 11 catches, 105. And then you got the senior, 5'10", 175-pound Michael Terrell, 15 catches, 297 yards, and three touchdowns. Terrell back off the injured list. He played last week against Princeton, had a couple of touchdown catches for Terrell. For that Redskins defense tonight, up front at the defensive end, Shalik Hampton, 6'4", 225-pound junior, 24 tackles on the season for Hampton, 9 for a loss. He's got five and a half sacks on the season. That leads the Redskins defense. Then you've got Aaron Clark, 6'1", 290-pound senior at the tackle position, 23 tackles, 14 for a loss, and five sacks for Clark at the nose tackle. 6'1", 265-pound senior Nate McKay, 35 tackles, eight for a loss, two and a half sacks for McKay. And at the right end is Ethan Chill, 6'3", 240-pound senior. At the wheel linebacker is Joey Chiano, 5'10", 205-pound junior, 44 tackles. He did have a block punt that the Redskins returned for a touchdown last week against Princeton. Then Jonah Wilfong, 6'1", 220-pound junior. If you see Hurricane taking a field in the All Blacks tonight, the new uniforms. The star linebacker for Hurricane is Julian Grace, 6'1", 190-pound senior, 26 tackles, five tackles for a loss. And then on the backside for that Redskins defense, no Sean Hampton, the 5'9", 180-pound freshman, younger brother of Shalik Hampton. You'll see Noah Velatambi in that rover position, 6'2", 200-pound junior. And at the free safety position, Jaden Smith, 5'10", 160-pound junior. Just picked up an offer from the University of Charleston for Mr. Smith. And then at the other cornerback is LaRon Dews. As you see, Midland taking the field here at McGeehee Field. A good crowd on hand. And a beautiful evening for football here in the Mountain State. They were calling for rain about all week, and now it's kind of settled in to maybe Saturday morning, Derek. So that's yeah. a good thing. Yeah, it is, this is perfect football weather. When you, when you think of high school football and, and in the fall, this is the type of weather you're thinking about. I'd like to thank everybody for tuning in tonight. Again, Jack Withrow alongside Derek Rago and our video productions crew. I'd like to thank our sponsor, especially our presenting sponsor, and Putnam Career and Technical Center. And Derek, I was busy giving the starting lineups. I didn't even look down and see who won the toss. Uh, I think Hurricane won. I, I couldn't really hear what the, what the ref was saying, and he didn't do any hand signals, but it, it sounded like he said Hurricane won and deferred. So okay. I believe Calvin Miller will be receiving the kick. Of course, the white hat tonight is Mr. Mark Akers. And it will be. Hurricane kicking off to start things off tonight. And the kicker for Hurricane is senior Grayson Maddox, 6-foot, 170-pounder. He's also the goalkeeper for the Hurricane Redskins yep. boys' soccer team, having a great year over there on the pitch. Yeah, I think they've only given up – I think they've given up less than 10 goals on the season, so they're having a real good year. Landed Nida back deep for the Knights along with number 33 in Jaden Branch as end over end kick and that'll go into the end zone a touchback a good kick by Maddox and Kendall Midland will start things off on their own 20 yard line 
We're just getting a look at Curtis Jones now coming out in the field there. He's, he's a good looking player. He looks real good in those pads. Uh, I expect to see a heavy dose of him this evening. The A system having a bit of trouble. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sound like a machine gun. <laughs> So two receivers here to the near side, two to the top for Cabell Midland and quarterback Robert Shockey. Got Curtis Jones in the backfield with him. Shockey claps his hands quick, gets it out to Landon over here on the left side, and he'll get up to about the 28-yard line. Nice gain on first down, a gain of eight. We'll bring up second down and two. Post Redskins there. And, you know, if you're familiar with Cabin Midland football, that's not a traditional set that you see them. You Typically, their quarterback's under center. they got some wing backs um, and, a, and a up back behind them. And, and you know, this is, this is a different look for them than in years past. Quickly on the ball for the Knights. Shockey claps his hands again. Now rides it up with Jones, but keeps it. And he has stopped short of the first down. It'll be third down and one. For the Knights, nice job by the defense, especially the interior de defense for Hurricane that time. Yep, this is a big play right here. See if they can get him to go three and out early here. Third down and one. Ball at the 29-yard line. A snap, the give over the left side. First down and more for Curtis Jones up across the 40 before he is drugged down. It'll be a first down for the Knights. Yeah, nice run by that WU commit there. And, of course, third and one, you're going to give it to your senior workhorse, and that's Curtis Jones from Cabo Midland, and, and he did the job and picked up the first down. Wyatt Soward's on the tackle for Hurricane. First down and 10. Snap back again. Shockey keeps it, and he is bottled up. No gain on the play, maybe one. But, again, a nice job by the defense. Looked like that was Big Nate McKay in there and Ethan Chill on that tackle. So you see Cabo Midland going quickly here. In the same set, two receivers to each side. Shockey, he'll flip it over on the far side this time. And a nice job over on that right side for Hurricane. And it looked like no Sean Hampton on the tackle. No gain on the play, brings up third down and nine for Cabell Midland. You know, if you're Coach Mays, this is where you want Cabell Midland really behind the chain. So this is third and long here. Um, so hopefully they can get off the field here after this play. Third down and nine, ball at the 43 yard line. Shockey, straight drop back. He gives it a draw. To Jones, Jones works his way up, and it looks like he's got enough for a first down. I believe so. That was a nice play called, play designed by Cabo Midland there. You saw the pressure upfield, and Shockey just handed it off. If you take a look at the replay, the hole opened up right up the middle, and Jones able to scamper for a first down into Hurricane territory. First down and 10 from the Redskins, 46-yard line. Fumble on the play, and Hurricane's, Hurricane's got it. Has got it. A bad snap, and it looks like Julian Grace has come up with the football for Hurricane. You know, Jack, you were talking before the game that Hurricane really needed to create turnovers, and, and that's, that's something that they needed to do right there, and good job by Julian Grace getting on that ball and recovering the fumble. You take a look. The snap was high, and Grace able to get back there and jump on it. And let's see if Hurricane can take advantage of this mistake here early. As they got the ball first down and 10 at the Cabell Midland 45-yard line. Motion. They give up the middle and not much running room there. No gain on the play. We'll bring up second down and 10. It's a good push by Cal Midland's interior D-line there to give Noah no room to run. And give him a yard on the play, so second down and nine. Tight formation this time for Midland. Snap back, long, fires it over, wide open. It is Dews, and he's up near the first down. I believe he's going to be short of maybe a yard. Yeah, I think and so. The flag is down over on the far side, though.
Mm. And an illegal formation is called on Hurricane. Well, that hurts. You go from third and one to second and 14, yeah, all the way that, back at the 49 yard line of Campbell Midland. Two receivers each side for Long. Ja'Kai Long takes the snap. Great drop back. Fires over on the far side. He's got a receiver completed and pushed out of bounds. Completed to Laron Dews. Nice gain on the play. Brings mm -hmm. up third down and maybe six. Yeah, yep, that's what third it looks and like. six. Take a look at the replay. Nice that throw and catch. That was a nice ball by Jakai. Third down and six from the 41 yard line. Again, straight drop back. Fires it over the far side. Gets the receiver open. Pushed out of bounds, short of the first down. But you got to think that. Yeah, they're going to go for it. Go for it. Two or three yards short. I think they're going to go for it here. It'll be bring up a fourth down and three. And they've got to get to the 35-yard line for the first down. They line up McGrew over on the left side in the backfield. Now they check. Two receivers here to the near side for Ja'Kai Long. Bill Atami in the backfield. Long. Complete. First down and more down the right side is oh, Laron Dunes, and he had one man to beat and a shoestring tackle and a late flag coming in. Oh, man. I'm going to say somebody said something they shouldn't have. I'm not sure who. But that's the only thing I could think of. I didn't see anything like a face mask or anything like that. Great catch and run up the sideline for Laron Dews. And they get an unsportsmanlike contact on Dews. Man. So it'll be a first down, but then they'll mark off the penalty. Second penalty of the game for Hurricane. Now they stop, stop it here. Well, that was an excellent job by LaRon breaking that tackle and getting some good yards after the catch. I'm not sure what, you know, exactly. Well, he pointed like it was a first down. I guess that didn't settle well yeah. for the official over there. But you see that so much. Sure. You know, in a big game like this between two top five teams and rivals, you know, it's uh, going to be emotional. Again, they stop play as the officials come together. This will David Baldus talking with the White Hat and Mark Akers. Now they're set to go. First down and 10. Ball at the 33-yard line of Cabell Midland. Two receivers here to the near side for Jagai Long, the quarterback. Marshall Commit takes the snap. Straight drop back, fires it downfield. He's got a receiver open and oh. dues it. Oh, man. Yes. Just out of, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> sorry, Jack, but just out of bounds. I mean, it was right on the money. Drop that biscuit in the basket, as they say. <laughs> but yeah. just out of bounds for Tyshawn Dews. Oh, yeah, that was a nice ball he threw just a little bit too wide and hmm. out of bounds. Second down and 10. Villa Tombi. He'll carry it over on the left side. Nice push by Vela Tommy. <laughs> and he shows run. some strength. That was an excellent run, pushing the pushing a couple of defenders and getting a couple extra yards. Getting in behind the big old left tackle in Duran Parks. That brings up third and short. Third and about four. Line to gain as the 23-yard line. Snap back, low snap to give. Vela Tommy looking for space. Mm. Nice job. And in there in the backfield for Cabell Midland. To make the initial contact is Braylon Ryder. Yeah, Hurricane will go for this here too. Fourth and five. Fourth down and five for the Redskins. They converted on the first fourth down. Two receivers here to the near side, one receiver to the boundary. Long. He's got room. If he wants to run it, he'll tuck it and he'll get the first down. Yeah, right at the stick. And Robert Shockey was coming in, <laughs> ready to lay the wood there. 
Nice recognition by Ja'Kai Long. Saw it open up and was able to get to the stick and the first down for Hurricane. That's a great job by him picking up that first down. They place the ball at the 23-yard line over on the right hash. Again, two receivers here to the near side for Ja'Kai Long. Velatombi, the give, Velatombi up the middle. He's got some room into the 15, and then he is stopped right there. So a nice gain on first down for Noah Velatombi. Yeah, excellent, excellent job by Noah. I mean, I know we've said this before. He came into this season being known for as a quarterback, but he's really established himself as a running back as well. Three receivers here to the near side now for Hurricane. As they split Rhett McGrew out wide. Villatami will move over to the left side of Long. Snap back to Long. He fires it over. Low. As he caught, it was. That's going to be enough for a first down for Hurricane. Well, he threw it where only LaRon Dews could catch yep, it. And he, and he did. So, it's been a good drive for Hurricanes offense so far. First down and 10. Ball at the 12-yard line for Hurricane. And they got the ball off a bad snap that was recovered by Julian Grace. Low snap, long. Feels pressure. Gets it out here to Terrell. Terrell makes a move at the 11, but then he is... Slung down. Great job by Jakai Long there with the low snap and adjusting and, and getting the ball, getting rid of it quick, feeling that pressure. That was a good job by him. Zach Ramey in there on the tackle for the Knights. Brings up second down at eight. Ball at the 10-yard line here on the left hash. Three receivers to the far side now for Long. The give, Velatami over the left side. Velatami at the five. Lowers his shoulder. Is he in? He, <laughs> he is. is. Touchdown, Hurricane. Noah Velatambe. What a run by that young man. He has been amazing. And, again, he shows that strength. Yeah, and just a great team player. I mean, to, you know, do what's best for the team and, you know, move from quarterback to running back and do whatever he needs to do to help his team. You what? see, I mean, he just lowered his shoulder on Shockey that time and shoved it into the end zone. As Will Mitchell out to attempt the PAT. A bit of a delay here, and now they blow the whistle and the ball dead as they'll reset the play clock. The kick is up and through. 420 to go here in the first quarter. Hurricane takes advantage of the turnover. They lead 7-0 over Cabell Midland here on Video Productions. Where is home? Home is where we live, work, and play. It's in the small, quiet moments and the memories we capture. For 35 years, we've been here with you, building home together. Eight-yard touchdown run for Noah Velatombe. 7 nothing Hurricane leading 420 to go here in the first quarter. End over end kickoff. Nida will take it at the three-yard line. He'll work across the 20-yard over on the left side, across the, well, almost to the 25 before he is down by Grace. He's short of the 25, Bernard, or Hunter Bernard also in the, on the tackle. Good coverage there by the kickoff team. <clears throat> so the second offensive possession here tonight for Cabell Midland as they'll start this one off at the 24-yard line. Two receivers here to the near side. Jones in the backfield to give to Jones straight up the middle and nowhere. And there he is, baby A, Aaron Clark. Baby big a. number 99 along with the interior Defense, Nate McKay also th there, the senior, and no gain on the play for Jones. Big stop there for Hurricane. 
You talked about matching the physical play of Cabell Midland, mm -hmm. and so far the defensive line has showed that. Two receivers to the far side for Shockey to give over the left side this time for Jones, and he'll get up around the 30-yard line, a gain of about six. That'll bring up third down and maybe four. Again, can the Hurricane defense get off the field here and get that offense back on here and wear some of those guys out for Cabo Midland, Curtis Jones and, and company? Jones in the backfield. They'll give it. Nope, Shockey will take it over the left side, and he's going to be stopped short. Well, nice looks job. Looks like they're indicating a fumble. That could have been. The officials talking about it. And I believe it's going to be fourth down. Take a look at the replay and our angle tonight from the end zone, and it was a fumble. The ball came oh, out. Wow. They did not call it. They did not yeah, they did. Oh, he okay. threw his bean okay. bag, but Midland able to jump on it. Tonight's replay is brought to you by Putnam County Bank, a proud community bank right here in Putnam County. Fourth down. They're going for it. A give to Jones, and he's got the first down. Big hole opening up over on the right side that time. Nice job by that offensive line. Right guard Matt Edwards, Caleb Parlier. Just opening up a big old hole as Wyatt Sowards brings down Jones. First down and 10. Shockey keeps it. He'll keeps it. find some room. He's got room in the Hurricane territory. Inside the 30, the 20. Shockey is brought down inside the 10 yard line. Great, young, uh, great run there by Shockey. You know, he's a heck of an athlete. You know, he obviously, is. you know, quarterbacks are usually known for their arms, but he's he's just as uh, deadly with his legs as he is his arm. That's going to be first and goal for Cabell Millens. You take, again, a look, a look at the replay, and a missed tackle right there at the line of scrimmage was able to allow Shockey plenty of room. First down and 10 from the eight. Give over the left side. That's Jones, and he dies for the end zone. I think he was no a little bit short. No yet, and I believe you're right. He's going to be short of the end zone. Cal Millen rolling right now. Hurricane needs to regroup. Quickly on the ball is the Knights. Second down and goal. Snap to Shockey. Give to Jones, and as he stopped short, he is. Big stop there by Hurricane. Aaron Clark there along with Ethan Chill on the stop for Hurricane. Did they say, did they give him a touchdown? Did they give him the touchdown? Oh, my. Looks like they did. They did award him a touchdown. So Jones takes it a one yard out. And the PAT up and through, and we're all tied up here at seven apiece. With 1.53 to go here in the first quarter, we've got a good one, partner. Watching live streaming coverage of Redskins football right here on Video Productions. Putnam Career and Technical Center is now enrolling for exciting adult learning opportunities. Register now for our certified medical assistant programming with in-person and virtual classes or our heavy equipment operator, where you will be learning hands-on on how to operate bulldozers, skid steers, excavators, and more. Both programs will have you certified and on path to a fulfilling career in as little as six months. Don't wait. Classes begin in January. Call now, 304-586-3494, extension 4406, or visit us online at pctc.edu. Welcome back inside McGee Field here at Redskins Stadium. Seven all, 153 to go, opening quarter. A nice answer that time by Campbell Bendlin. So far, this is living up to the hype. And I'm not even sure Derek who scored that <laughs> touchdown. We thought Jones had the ball, which he was – and it was Shockey that took it in. Yeah, there you go. We were nice. looking at the replay, and Jones was stopped short, but he did not have the ball. Robert Shockey takes it in. For the one yard touchdown. Here we go. We've got another replay here. Yeah. yeah there we excellent go. job okay. by Shockey there. Yep. And, Fooled and, me. Yeah. Yeah, that was clearly a touchdown. <laughs> <laughs> Kicking off is Tony Hornbuckle. He'll kick off from the 40. 
And over end kick. That'll be caught at the 13-yard line. Michael Terrell looking for room over on the right side. He's trying to get around the edge, and he is slung down at the 25-yard line. That was Kanan Lewis on the tackle, I believe. So the second time we see Hurricanes offense here tonight. All tied up at seven apiece. 146 to go here in the opening quarter. Number one, Cabell Midland. Number three, Hurricane. Cabell Midland undefeated at 7 0. Hurricane comes in with just one loss. That was to George Washington. First down and 10 for Hurricane from their own 25 yard line. Snap back to give. Bellatomi straight up the middle. He's got room. Across the 40, the 45, and all the way up to the 47-yard line. First down for Hurricane. Great job by Noah. Great blocking up front for the Redskin offensive line to get Noah some room. You can see there, right there, off the left side. Great job by Noah. And Quickly. The offensive line. Hurricane on the ball again. Three receivers here to the near side to give to Velatami over on the right side. He's got running room again, and a nice gain on first down into Hurricane territory. Again, another nice big hole there created by the offensive line for Noah to run through. Um, good job by both of those groups. Gain of about five. It'll bring up second down and five from the Cabell Midland 48-yard line. Well, Tommy in the backfield with Ja'Kai Long. Now he'll move over on the left side of Long. That back long will keep it. He's got the first down and more inside the 40, and they drag him down at the 35-yard line. Nice run by quarterback Ja'Kai Long that time. Yep, the play looks like it got you know busted there a little bit, and Ja'Kai did a nice job improvising and picking up the first down. The first down and 10 for Hurricane at the Cabell Midland 35-yard line. Three receivers here to the near side, a single receiver, and LeBron Dews up top. Tommy will take the snap. He's looking for room over the right side. He's got a little bit of room and a gain of about three on first down. Brings up second down and seven. Ball placed down at the 32-yard line of the Knights as time winding down here in the first quarter, and I believe that was the last play. We'll head to the second quarter here at Redskins Stadium. 7-7, your score, Hurricane and Cabell Midland here on Video Productions. Putnam Career and Technical Center is now enrolling for exciting adult learning opportunities. Register now for our certified medical assistant programming with in-person and virtual classes or our heavy equipment operator, where you will be learning hands-on how to operate bulldozers, skid steers, excavators, and more. Both programs will have you certified and on path to a fulfilling career in as little as six months. Don't wait. Classes begin in January. Call now, 304-586-3494, extension 4406, or visit us online at pctc.edu. PCB is a long-standing partner in our community. We're your neighbors, your teammates, and your friends. And we want to be your banker. We're a team of experienced professionals focused on the personal, residential, and business needs of our community. We make decisions locally, quickly, and with your best interest in mind. We care about you, your family, your business, and your goals. We're PCB, a proud community bank. Open an account with us today. Welcome back inside Redskins Stadium as we head to the second quarter. 7-7 seven, seven your score, and Hurricane has second down and seven from the 32-yard line of Campbell Mid. And Long looking down. He's going deep for Tyshawn Dews, and oh. that one overthrown. Dews again open. Had a step on the defenders. Just a little too much on that one by Jakai. Take a look at the Putnam County Bank replay. Mm. Third down to give to Villatombi, and he is stopped at the just inside the 30. That's going to bring up a fourth down and about four. They'll go for it again. A big play here. 
Three receivers to the far side for Ja'Kai Long. Takes the snap. Looking here near side and caught. Nice catch by Tyshawn. And that'll Tyshawn. be enough for a first down by Tyshawn Dews. Nice job by Tyshawn there making the catch and getting the first down. <clears throat> All black jerseys tonight for the Redskins. That white outline looks good with those red numbers. First down and 10 for the Redskins. Ball at the 23-yard line. Snap back to give. Villatami over the right side. Nice patience waiting for blocking. And he'll get a gain of about four. Down inside the 20 to about the, let's call it the 17-yard line. No Velatombi coming into tonight. 731 yards on the ground and 13 touchdowns. He'll get it again over the right side. Velatombi pushes forward inside the 15 down to about the 14-yard line. That'll bring up third and short, maybe third and one for the Redskins. About four yards of carry right there, so you'll take that any time. Snap to give. Velatami, he's got the first down. And a whole host of Knights. But enough for another first down for the Redskins. It'll be first down and 10 from the 11-yard line. Tommy will come out, take a break, and much, much deserved. Colleen Grace, the 5'10", 190-pound sophomore in the backfield now with Ja'Kai Long. Three receivers to the far side. Tyshawn Dunes, the lone receiver here to the near side. Pump fake, caught at the five by McGrew. Nice job by him to hold on to that ball. He kind of bobbled it a little bit, but ended up securing it and holding on to it. That'll bring up second down and a four. They can't get a first down here. Quickly on the ball is Hurricane. Two receivers here to the near side. McGrew moves in to give to, to Grace. Grace, is he in? I think he's short. Uh, yeah, I think he got the first down, but I think he's short of the end zone. So it'll be first down and goal. And quickly, Hurricane looking to get back on the line here and run this up tempo offense. Grace in the backfield to the right of Long. McGrew, the H back on the right side to give and. Nice penetration that time. Yeah, excellent job by Calvin Midland there. I believe that was number 40. Trace Atkins. Yeah, Trace Atkins. <laughs> Not to be confused with country music star Trace Atkins. But excellent job there by Trace Atkins getting in there and stopping the runner. So it'll be second down and goal to go. Ball at the one. Grace stays out there in the backfield. Long looking over, getting the signals. 13 on the play clock for Hurricane. Grace will line up to the right of Ja'Kai Long. The snap back to give to Grace over the left side, and he's in for the touchdown, Hurricane. Great job by Hurricane there. Good patience by Grace reading where his, where his hole was and shooting off there to the left tackle. Take a look at the Putnam County Bank replay. Coming right at you into your living room, Kylan Grace with the touchdown run of two yards for Hurricane. His sixth rushing touchdown of the season as Will Mitchell out to attempt the PAT. Snap is down, the kick is away, and it is good. 8.36 to go here in the first half. Hurricane takes the lead 14-7 over Cabell Midland here on Video Productions. PCB is a longstanding partner in our community. We're your neighbors, your teammates, and your friends. And we want to be your banker. We're a team of experienced professionals focused on the personal, residential, and business needs of our community. We make decisions locally, quickly, and with your best interest in mind. We care about you, your family, your business, and your goals. We're PCB, a proud community bank. Open an account with us today. 8.36 to go here in the first half, 14-7. Hurricane leading Cabell Midland on a two-yard touchdown run by sophomore Kylan Grace. 
Grayson Maddox got it teed up. He'll put his right foot in it. This one a low liner fielded up around the 20 over the 30 and finally brought down at the 34-yard line. Cannon Lewis, the returner that time for Cabell Midland. The NC State commit. Yes. I'm sure, you know, Tony Gibson being the defense coordinator. I believe Todd Goble is down there. He used to coach at Marshall and actually just lived right over here in Bloomingdale behind the behind the stadium. Um, so probably the connection there to get him down there to NC State. First down and 10 for Cabell Mellon at their own 34-yard line. Robert Shockey, the quarterback, will take the snap. The give over the right side. Jones, nowhere to go, and he is going to be brought down. No gain on the play. Excellent job by the Hurricane defense getting to the ball, wrapping up, and finishing the tackle. They gave him a gain of one, Derek. Well, I guess forward progress. It looked like a loss to me, but we also didn't think they scored that touchdown <laughs> earlier. <laughs> but they so, did. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Second down and nine for the Knights. Known 35, Shockey looking to throw. Now he'll run it, and he is bottled up right there at the 35-yard line. They'll give him a gain of one to the 36. That was a nice job of him to avoid the loss there. Get back up to the line of scrimmage, and like you said, even gain a yard. I'm not sure if that was a designed quarterback draw, because he didn't hold it very long until yeah. he took off. Brings up third down and about eight for the Knights. Ball resting just outside the 30-yard line. Three receivers lined up here to the near side, a single receiver to the far side for Robert Shockey. Curtis Jones in the backfield. Shockey drops back, fires downfield, and Ooh. almost intercepted by Jaden Smith. Mm. Jayden that pass just ahead of his intended receiver. Jaden would like to have that one back. That brings up fourth down and eight, and it looks like we may see our first punt of the evening. I believe you're right. Good three and out there by the Hurricane Redskin defense. Robert Shockey, the quarterback, will drop back to punt. Tyshawn Deuce back at his own 30-yard line. You've got to watch, though. Watch the fake here with the quarterback being the punter. Snap back. The kick is away. A spiraling kick. Nice kick by Shockey. <laughs> That's a heck it's of a, a punt. 20. And that'll roll dead right at the 10-yard line. You are right. That was a heck of a punt by Robert Shockey. I've been real impressed with him. He's an athlete. I, I think he's also a really good wrestler he as is. well. Yeah. He is. Talk about a tough sport. Hey, <laughs> I wrestled from the time I was four years old through high school. Yeah, my dad was a big my dad was a big wrestler. He's trying to get my son into it. I've been a you know a basketball guy, but you, know, you, you get no help. It's just you. <laughs> that's, right, that's right. It's you <laughs> and the, the guy across from you. 14-7, Hurricane leading Cabell Midland. 6:59 to go here in the opening half. As the Redskins offense back out on the field, it'll be first down and 10 from their own 10-yard line. Two receivers split out here to the near side. Velatami in the back wheel. He'll take the snap and pops it out over on the left side and slung out of bounds, and a flag comes down. Mm -hmm. Flag back at the 10-yard line. Not sure if that's going to be a hold or... Here from the referee, Mark Akers. We are holding number 77 over the black team. It is a holding on Hurricane. Did he call off the number? Yeah. Did they do that in the house? Yes, they did. Oh, okay. Third penalty of the night for Hurricane. This will back him back to the five yard line. It'll remain first down. First and 15 for the Redskins. Got to be careful here. Low snap, long looking. Now he'll fire downfield. He's got a receiver in Terrell. He holds it in, and that's going to be enough for a first down. Excellent job by Jakai and Terrell there improvising. You know, things kind of broke down a little bit and readjusting and, and picking up the first down. You know, he's done that a couple times tonight. 
Quickly, Hurricane on the ball. First down and 10. Snap back. They fired here near side. Ooh. In and out of the hands of LaRon Dews. Take a look at that last replay. And like you said, a nice job by Ja'Kai Long improvising as he rolls to his right and found Terrell open downfield. Second down and 10. Give over the left side. Melatomi breaks an ankle tackle up ahead across the 30 to the 32. It'll be about two yards shy of the first down. Again, Hurricane quickly on the ball, third down and two. Off the 32-yard line for the Redskins. Two receivers to each side for Ja'Kai Long. Hurricane taking their time here. Noah Velatami in the backfield. Lined up to the left of Long. Snap back, gives to Velatami. And he shoves ahead, and that's going to be enough for a first down for Hurricane. I thought uh, number three for Kevin Miller, Michael Lunsford, was going to drag him down, and you know, it just avoids him and able to get up to the line and get the first down. First down and 10 for Hurricane. Lunsford checks out. See, platoon players in and out on this defense for Cabo Midland. Ball at the 37-yard line, first down and 10. Snap back to Long, looking. He'll fire down the left side this time. He's got a receiver. He's got steps. Oh, ah, oh my goodness. Intended for Tyshawn Dews Man. and could not come up with the catch. Oh, wants to play a great ball by Jacon. Drops it right in there and just goes right through Tyshawn's hands. That's unfortunate. Talking to the Hurricane coaches earlier this week, and they thought they had advantage out on the edges with their speed. And several times tonight we've seen Tyshawn Dews open downfield. Second down and 10. Snap back to give to Velatomba. He's got room over the left side. And runs over a player close to a first down. Can be third and one. It'll bring up third down and short about... A little over a yard, long yard for a first down. Ball at the 46, Villantami again with the carry, and he is dragging players. He's got the first down inside Cabell Midland territory. Four and a half minutes to go, second quarter, 14 to seven. Number three, Hurricane leading number one, Cabell Midland. Hurricane started this drive on their own 10-yard line. It was backed up by a holding call to the 5. It'll be first down and 10. Low snap, long. Again, goes deep. He's got a receiver again, and oh. hauled in with the catch. Excellent catch. At the 1-yard line was Tyshawn Dews. So we take a look at the Putnam County Bank replay on this one. Another. And Dews comes up with a great catch. Another great ball by Jakai. An excellent catch there by Tyshawn Dews. First down and goal for Hurricane from the one-yard line. The snap back to get Velatombi. Patience. And he is into the end zone. Touchdown, Hurricane. And flags come flags flying come out. out. Three of them. Oh. Noah Velatombi goes in for the touchdown. Let's see what these flags are for. As we... Uh, yeah. Yep. It's going to be probably unsportsmanlike. Unsportsmanlike. Here's what you got to say to Hurricane right now. The players, hey, they're looking for that stuff. Cut it out. Right. And, you know, sometimes you can get by with that. Tonight you cannot. You know, I understand kids are kids. Right. Um, but the school board's doing the talking right now. You're up 20 to 20 to seven. You, you know, you you don't need to do stuff like that. I get emotions run high, and you know, kids are going to do things like that sometimes. This is not, you know, me getting on to him. I'm just saying, you know, let the school board do the talking. Exactly. Here. Will Mitchell in to attempt the PAT? Grayson Maddox will be the holder. 
Stamp is back. The hold is down. The kick is away, and it is good. 3.53 to go here in the opening half, 21-7. Hurricane leading Campbell Midland here on Video Productions. Putnam Career and Technical Center is now enrolling for exciting adult learning opportunities. Register now for our certified medical assistant programming with in-person and virtual classes or our heavy equipment operator, where you will be learning hands-on on how to operate bulldozers, skid steers, excavators, and more. Both programs will have you certified and on path to a fulfilling career in as little as six months. Don't wait. Classes begin in January. Call now, 304-586-3494, extension 4406, or visit us online at pctc.edu. For over 45 years, Tom Moore has taken care of the Valley's auto home and life needs conveniently located on Tays Valley Road. Call today for a free quote at 304-757-7711 or check them out on their website at TomMoreAgency.com. Tom Moore, State Farm Agency, is a proud supporter of Hurricane football. 3.53 to go here, second quarter, 21-7, Hurricane leading Cabell Midland on a one-yard touchdown run by Noah Tomby. The penalty... Puts the ball back at the 25-yard line. That's where Maddox will tee it up. Low liner again. That one goes all the way through back to the 24-yard line before it is picked up. Up across the 35, the 45, and finally tripped up. Was well, Jaden Branch on the return that time. So good field position for the Knights. It look, well, looked like it was going to be a problematic return there for Cal Midland. It ended up being pretty good. They're going to be around, right around the just past, just short of the 50 with good field position. They put the ball down at the 48-yard line for Cal Midland. Two receivers to each side for Robert Shockey. Curtis Jones lined up into the backfield. Snap back to Shockey. Gives. Nope, he'll keep it over the left side. Nice gain on first down, down inside the 45, down around the 44-yard line. Gain of about eight will bring up second down and two. You know, Hurricane may be up 21-7, but if any team knows that this game is not over, it should be them. Shockey takes the snap, looking to his right, and that ball is caught by nine, and that's going to be enough for a first down. Excellent job there on that out route there by Cabo Midland. And the Nida with the catch in the first down at the 41-yard line. Quickly on the ball. Shock again takes the snap, gives him what, and Kurtz Jones up the middle, makes a move at the 30 or the 25 and inside the 20, and finally drug down around the 17-yard line. Great young run there by Curtis Jones, breaking a couple arm tackles. You're, you're not going to take this guy down with an arm tackle. You're going to have to wrap up and hold on to this boy. Now, I know it's easier said than done. He's, he's a big old kid, but you're going to wrap him up. And now a timeout has been taken by Hurricane. Yeah, had too many men on the field. So 2.45 to go. We've got a timeout on the field. We'll take one as well. 21-7, Hurricane leading Cabell Midland here on Video Productions. Where is home? Home is where we live, work, and play. It's in the small, quiet moments and the memories we capture. For 35 years, we've been here with you, building home together. Twenty-one seven Hurricane leading Cabell Mill and two forty-five to go, but in the Knights driving. Coming out of the timeout called by the Redskins. It'll be first down and ten. Ball just inside the 18-yard line. Shockey. He pitches to Jones. Jones stays on his feet and finally drug down inside the 10-yard line. Close to another first down. He'll be short. A little option pitch there. Ends up second down and one. We'll call it two, second down and two. Ball at the nine-yard line. Again, the give. Nope, Chalky keeps it over the right side. He's got enough for a first down. 
And Shockey does an excellent job of concealing that ball, fake, you know, with his ball fakes and things like that. He, I mean, I've been real impressed with that. So first and goal for Cabell Midland. So we wind down under two minutes to go here in the second quarter. And now Cabell Midland runs somebody out way late. Still plenty of time on the play clock. Cannon Lewis, he'll line up in the backfield to the right. Shockey under center. It looked like the right side of the early. line moved early. A false start on the right side of that offensive line. That's the first penalty of the night for Cabell Midland. Gets the ball back five yards. It will remain first and goal. Ball setting at the nine-yard line. Again, Shockey under center. Jones lined up directly behind him. They give to Jones over the right side, and he is pulled down. Short gain brought down by defensive end Shalik Hampton. A nice tackle there by Shalik. Brings up a second and goal. Give him a gain of two on that. It'll be second and goal from the seven-yard line for Cabell Midland. And then Shockey under center. Takes a snap. He'll keep it over the right side and inside the five-yard line before he is brought down. So we're now under a minute here. Brings up third down and goal. Cabo Millen's got all three of their timeouts left. They choose not to take one. Third and goal from the four-yard line. Shockey under center. The give. And Excellent job stopped. There. Nice job by Joey Keanu. Also in there is LaRon Dews and Aaron Clark. Fourth down and goal. Looks like we're going to let this clock run down. Still, Kevin Millen hasn't taken a timeout. Fourth and goal from just inside the three-yard line. Shockey under center. Big play here. Pitches it right side. And into the end zone, touchdown, Cabell Midland. Curtis Jones. Nice run by him. And it looked like Hurricane might have been able to stop him. Just couldn't bring him down. Contact made around the two, but you see Curtis Jones just power in for. He was a man on a mission there. The three-yard touchdown run. Hornbuckle. Up and in. 21-14, the score with 3.3 seconds. My goodness, they were cutting it close. Yes, they were. We'll stay right here with three seconds left on the clock. The score 21-14. You know, Coach Salmons, no matter what was going to happen on that play, he didn't want to leave any time left for Hurricane. I mean, there's, I know there's three seconds left, but. He wanted to leave as little time as possible for Hurricane offensively. My guess is they don't kick it deep to, to uh, Tyshawn Dude. I would say you're right. I'd, I'd look for a little, a little scoop split, kick yep. or, you know, sky kick, some, something that's really hard to return. Looking around at other scores around the state in Class AAA, Princeton leading Woodrow Wilson in the second quarter, 14-7, of course. Hurricane got the big come from behind victory down in Princeton last week. Woodrow Wilson, 5-2 and two on the season, looking for a big victory over Princeton. It's a rivalry game down mm -hmm. in southern West Virginia. Tony Hornbuckle, the 5'10", 170-pound senior, has got it teed up at the 40-yard line. Tyshawn Dews deep, but I imagine they're not going to kick it to him. And a short kick. Fielded that to the 20-yard line by Terrell. Terrell works his way up look the left here, side. Terrell, here. he's got one man to meet here and not going to do it as Hornbuckle brings him down. Wow. Great job by Hornbuckle there to save a touchdown. And that will bring us to the end of the first half. 
Well, penalty, the penalty is declined. It was on Hurricane, but they declined the penalty. So now that brings us to the halftime here at Redskin Stadium. Hurricane leading Cattle Midland 21-14 here on Video Productions. Putnam Career and Technical Center is now enrolling for exciting adult learning opportunities. Register now for our certified medical assistant programming with in-person and virtual classes or our heavy equipment operator, where you will be learning hands-on on how to operate bulldozers, skid steers, excavators, and more. Both programs will have you certified and on path to a fulfilling career in as little as six months. Don't wait. Classes begin in January. Call now, 304-586-3494, extension 4406, or visit us online at pctc.edu. PCB is a long-standing partner in our community. We're your neighbors, your teammates, and your friends. And we want to be your banker. We're a team of experienced professionals focused on the personal, residential, and business needs of our community. We make decisions locally, quickly, and with your best interest in mind. We care about you, your family, your business, and your goals. We're PCB, a proud community bank. Open an account with us today. I'm Dr. Chad Lavender. My fertilized ACL technique has gained national and international attention. It all started here on a small football field in West Virginia. That's where my passion to help athletes and others began. I personally have had uh, 19 uh, different states and locations that patients have traveled from uh, for this ACL reconstruction. is where we live, work, and play. It's in the small, quiet moments and the memories we capture. For 35 years, we've been here with you, building home together. Little General Stores has been serving West Virginia communities for almost five decades. We are so grateful to be a small part of your lives, and we want to recognize the integral part of our operation, the LG family. You keep us going. Thank you.
Career and Technical Center is now enrolling for exciting adult learning opportunities. Register now for our certified medical assistant programming with in-person and virtual classes or our heavy equipment operator, where you will be learning hands-on on how to operate bulldozers, skid steers, excavators, and more. Both programs will have you certified and on path to a fulfilling career in as little as six months. Don't wait. Classes begin in January. Call now, 304-586-3494, extension 4406, or visit us online at pctc.edu. PCB is a long-standing partner in our community. We're your neighbors, your teammates, and your friends. And we want to be your banker. We're a team of experienced professionals focused on the personal, residential, and business needs of our community. We make decisions locally, quickly, and with your best interest in mind. We care about you, your family, your business, and your goals. We're PCB, a proud community bank. Open an account with us today. I'm Dr. Chad Lavender. My fertilized ACL technique has gained national and international attention. It all started here on a small football field in West Virginia. That's where my passion to help athletes and others began. I personally have had uh, 19 uh, different states and locations that patients have traveled from uh, for this ACL reconstruction. is where we live, work, and play. It's in the small, quiet moments and the memories we capture. For 35 years, we've been here with you, building home together. Little General Stores has been serving West Virginia communities for almost five decades. We are so grateful to be a small part of your lives, and we want to recognize the integral part of our operation, the LG family. You keep us going. Thank you.
Career and Technical Center is now enrolling for exciting adult learning opportunities. Register now for our certified medical assistant programming with in-person and virtual classes or our heavy equipment operator, where you will be learning hands-on on how to operate bulldozers, skid steers, excavators, and more. Both programs will have you certified and on path to a fulfilling career in as little as six months. Don't wait. Classes begin in January. Call now, 304-586-3494, extension 4406, or visit us online at pctc.edu. PCB is a long-standing partner in our community. We're your neighbors, your teammates, and your friends. And we want to be your banker. We're a team of experienced professionals focused on the personal, residential, and business needs of our community. We make decisions locally, quickly, and with your best interest in mind. We care about you, your family, your business, and your goals. We're PCB, a proud community bank. Open an account with us today. I'm Dr. Chad Lavender. My fertilized ACL technique has gained national and international attention. It all started here on a small football field in West Virginia. That's where my passion to help athletes and others began. I personally have had uh, 19 uh, different states and locations that patients have traveled from uh, for this ACL reconstruction. is where we live, work, and play. It's in the small, quiet moments and the memories we capture. For 35 years, we've been here with you, building home together. Little General Stores has been serving West Virginia communities for almost five decades. We are so grateful to be a small part of your lives, and we want to recognize the integral part of our operation, the LG family. You keep us going. Thank you. Career and Technical Center is now enrolling for exciting adult learning opportunities. Register now for our certified medical assistant programming with in-person and virtual classes or our heavy equipment operator, where you will be learning hands-on on how to operate bulldozers, skid steers, excavators, and more. Both programs will have you certified and on path to a fulfilling career in as little as six months. Don't wait. Classes begin in January. Call now, 304-586-3494, extension 4406, or visit us online at pctc.edu. PCB is a long-standing partner in our community. We're your neighbors, your teammates, and your friends. And we want to be your banker. We're a team of experienced professionals focused on the personal, residential, and business needs of our community. We make decisions locally, quickly, and with your best interest in mind. We care about you, your family, your business, and your goals. We're PCB, a proud community bank. Open an account with us today. I'm Dr. Chad Lavender. My fertilized ACL technique has gained national and international attention. It all started here on a small football field in West Virginia. That's where my passion to help athletes and others began. I personally have had uh, 19 uh, different states and locations that patients have traveled from uh, for this ACL reconstruction. is where we live, work, and play. It's in the small, quiet moments and the memories we capture. For 35 years, we've been here with you, building home together. Little General Stores has been serving West Virginia communities for almost five decades. We are so grateful to be a small part of your lives, and we want to recognize the integral part of our operation, the LG family. You keep us going. Thank you.
Welcome back to McGee Heath Field here at Redskin Stadium. Hurricane leading Cabell Midland 21-14 as halftime concludes. It'll be Hurricane receiving the ball to start things off here in the second half. Hurricane got on the board first after a Cabell Midland turnover. Went up 7-0 on an eight-yard touchdown run by Noah Velatombi. But Cabell Midland answered back to even up the score at 7-7 at the end of the first quarter. That was a Robert Shockey faked it to Curtis Jones, faked everybody out, including me and Derek, and dove into the end zone to even the score up. We headed to the second quarter. Hurricane took the lead back with 8.36 to go on a Kylan Grace two-yard touchdown run to make it 14-7, to and then Hurricane went up 21-7 at 3.53 mark on a 95-yard drive. Again, Noah Bellatombi, a one-yard touchdown run. And then after a penalty and backing up Hurricane, Cabell Midland took it at their own 48 and drove 52 yards and a three-yard touchdown run by Curtis Jones to make it 21-14. And that's where we're at as we start the second half. Jack Witherow alongside Derek Regal. And you guys could join us on a beautiful evening here in the Mountain State. As Kettle Midland's Tony Hornbuckle's got it teed up at the 40. Back deep is Tyshawn Dews. End over end kick, and Dews will take it at the 8-yard line here on the near side, up across the 20. And he is bottled up right there at the 20. They'll spot him at the 21-yard line. And a flag down over on the far side in front of the Cabell Midland bench. Just a total of four flags, four penalties in the first half. Three on Hurricane, one on Cabell Midland. That's a change from previous games. And they get a holding on Hurricane. Wow. <laughs> that hurts. Especially for being away from the ball. Yeah, that's what I was wowing about. You know, as a coach, you got to hate stuff like that. So let's step off this penalty all the way back to the 11-yard line. So a 10-yard holding penalty, and that's where Hurricane will start this drive off. Leading 21-14 over Cabell Midland. Cabell Midland coming up, coming in 7-0 on the season. Hurricane 5-1. Cabell Midland ranked number one along with Huntington, who is in action up in Parkersburg tonight. Snap back, long gives to Bella Tommy. He's got blockers here on the near side, but nice tackle. And the ball the is on the turf. And let's see who comes up with it. It'll be interesting to see what comes out of this scrum here with the ball. Still no indication that it'll stay with Hurricane. Take a look at the replay. He had blockers, but Pops out Shockey like great coming up. Shockey. And, yeah, great tackle by Robert Shockey. Popped that ball out. Looks like McGrew was the one that came up with that for Hurricane. Great job by Rhett McGrew there. So no gain on the play. Brings up second down and 10. Three receivers to the far side. A single receiver here to the boundary for Ja'Kai Long, the quarterback. He'll take the snap, fakes it, looking long. He'll throw deep down the left side. He's got dues and mm. just misses him. And they have been so close all evening. Yeah, he had he had his uh, number 33, Jaden Branch, by a step there. Just a little bit out of his reach. Mm. Brings up third down and 10 from the 11-yard line. Snap back to Long. Feels pressure screen to Velatombi. Up across the 20, or 10, 15 at the 20. Pushes ahead, and Velatombi will have the first down. It's a great play call there by Coach Mays. It'll be a first down and 10 as we take a look at the Putnam County Bank replay. You see the pressure right up the middle and the dump down to Bella Tombi. Mm -hmm. Ball spotted at the 24-yard line. First and 10 for Hurricane. Snap back, quickly fire, and that mm. one off the mark. The intended receiver was Michael Terrell. Brings up second down and 10. Michael Terrell, you know, had some really good games early on. Had a good game last week coming back off the injury. I'd like to see him get a little bit more involved this evening. 
Villatami lined up to the left of Ja'Kai Long. McGrew in the backfield, the H-back. Snap back, Long fires near side, caught by Dews. He breaks a tackle across the 40, spins around, and finally brought down up across the 45 to the 47-yard line, first down for Hurricane. Nice job by Dews, not going down there on initial contact and get some good yards after catch there. Take a look at the replay from the end zone camera. Beautiful job spinning away from the tackler. First down and 10. Off the 47-yard line. Oh Bad boy. snap and Long just falls on it all the way back at, the, I believe, the 33-yard line. We saw that earlier in the game, a bad Cabell Midland snap you know, resulted in a turnover. This time, Hurricane able to fall on it. You know, I wonder if where it was so hot earlier and now it's cooled down because there's some moisture, some dew out there on the field getting on the ball because both teams have had trouble holding on to the ball a little bit. 68 degrees currently here in Hurricane. There's three receivers line up to the far side for Ja'Kai Long. Snap back. Gets it over here to Dews over on the left side up across the 45 before he is run out of bounds. Except back to the original line of scrimmage. Miles Meter on the tackle there. That'll bring up second down and 12. Ball spotted right at the 45-yard line. Looks like they've got the third down up. Excuse me, it is third down. I was going with you, Jack. I, I was getting ready to get on the, <laughs> the guy with the yard marker over there. Third down and 12 at the 45-yard line. Long takes it, rolls to his right. Still looking, still looking. Now it fires down Excellent. and caught at the 39-yard line. That's a good for a first down for Hurricane. Great LeBron Dews that time, the catch. Was for great, Hurricane. Great job by Jakai there extending the play and, and LeBron finding an open Open area against the zone, uh, against the defense there, and settle in for the first down. First down and 10, quickly on the ball at the 38 yard line to give Villa Tombi, and he is going to be stopped. Blow the whistle. And they don't blow the whistle. Now they blow the whistle after he breaks all the tackles. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Oh, my. The Hurricane fans, not happy about that. Well, we'll say they, no gain on the play. Interesting because that's not where he was when they blew the whistle, so whatever, we'll take it. <laughs> Second down and 10 from the 38-yard line of Midland. Motion here to the near side in McGrew. They'll throw it to Dews. He's got a block. Dews turns on the speed, and he's up. Across the 20-yard line, they'll mark him out at the 20. Good job blocking out there on the perimeter by Rhett McGrew and, and Michael Terrell. And, and, again, good job by Tyshawn Dews picking up some yards after catch. The first down and 10 at the 20-yard line. Hurricane goes quickly. Villatombi right up the middle and up ahead to around the 15-yard line, maybe to the 14. A gain of about five for Noah Villatombi. They give him five, ball spotted just inside the 15, second down and five. Snap back, getting fires here near side. Dews gets a couple blocks, he's inside the 10, finally brought down around the eight-yard line. Tackled by Shockey. Also in on the tackle is Biles Meter. Another first down for the Redskins. Ball at the eight-yard line here on the near hash. It'll be first and goal for the Redskins. Two receivers to the far side. Snap back, the give. Initial contact, but Bellatombe pushes ahead, maybe a gain of one. Nice job by Cannon Lewis not letting uh, Bellatombe get free and hold on to his foot until he gets some help to bring him down. Brings up second and goal from the seven-yard line now for Hurricane. Tyshawn Dews, the lone receiver here to the near side. Velatami in the backfield with Ja'Kai Long. Long takes a snap, give to Velatami. He bounces out inside the five, and mm. 
Dives ahead down to the one yard line. Nice, good, hard run there by Noah. Just short of the end zone. It's going to bring up third and one. Third and goal for Hurricane. Quickly on the ball, the Redskins. Snap back to give. Belatombe, and he He's just in. walks right into the end zone. Touchdown, Hurricane. A little delay on the call, but he yeah. was in. I think the official was looking for his whistle there. I'm not sure. Third touchdown run of the evening for Noah Velatombi. This one from a yard out. <laughs> Standing in the end zone. Yeah. As Will Mitchell back out to attempt the PAT. Snap is back. The hold is down. The kick is up and through. 28-14, 6.22 to go, third quarter. Hurricane leading Cattle Midland here on Video Productions. Putnam Career and Technical Center is now enrolling for exciting adult learning opportunities. Register now for our certified medical assistant programming with in-person and virtual classes or our heavy equipment operator, where you will be learning hands-on how to operate bulldozers, skid steers, excavators, and more. Both programs will have you certified and on path to a fulfilling career in as little as six months. Don't wait. Classes begin in January. Call now, 304-586-3494, extension 4406, or visit us online at pctc.edu. Eighty-nine yard drive for Hurricane and a one yard touchdown run for Noah Velatombi, his third of the evening. Makes it twenty-eight fourteen Hurricane leading Cabell Midland. Six twenty-two to go here in the third quarter. Huntington leading Parkersburg up in Parkersburg tonight. Twenty-eight to nothing at halftime. Morgantown and Parkersburg South in action. Morgantown leading that one, twenty seven to eighteen in the third quarter. Knight on branch back deep for the Knights. Low liner taken at the two-yard line by Branch here on the near side, up across the 20, the 25, and wrapped up there short of the 30. We'll see how Cal Millen responds here. It'll be first down and 10 at the 29-yard line for Cabell Midland. Quarterback Robert Shockey in the backfield with running back Curtis Jones. Two receivers to each side, snap back. Give over the left side. Jones pushes ahead, maybe a couple on first down. Give him a gain of three on the play, bring up second down and seven. He runs hard. He, I mean, even when he doesn't get a lot of yards, I mean, he's running hard. Shaggy takes a snap, drops straight back, fires over the far side, caught, and quickly wrapped up. A gain of about two up to the 35, maybe short of the 35. Will bring up third down and four for Cabell Midland. It was a good break on the ball by that defensive back, not allowing him to get any yards after the catch. Freshman, no Sean Hampton. He's going to be a good one. Third and a long four, maybe five for Midland. Shockey takes it, fakes it, keeps it. He's got the first down across the 40 to 45, breaks open, and he will take it all the way to the house. Touchdown, Cabell Midland. What an athlete that kid is. I mean, he just showed you right there his speed, breakaway. I mean, he pulled away from everybody. 66 yards for Robert Shockey. And arm tackling is not going to bring Shockey down. He'll no. take it to the house. I mean, he's a magician back there with the ball, you know, whether or not he's giving it to, to Jones or keeping it. You know, he's, he's kept us on our toes all night here in the booth. I'm sure he's doing the same with the defense down there. Snap back, hold is good, the kick is good. 28-21. Gabba Midland answers, 5.13 to go here in the third quarter here on Video Productions. 
I'm Dr. Chad Lavender. My fertilized ACL technique has gained national and international attention. It all started here on a small football field in West Virginia. That's where my passion to help athletes and others began. I personally have had uh, 19 uh, different states and locations that patients have traveled from uh, for this ACL reconstruction. Twenty-eight, twenty-one, Hurricane over Campbell Midland, five thirteen to go. Robert Shockey touchdown run, sixty-six yards as he broke a couple of arm tackles. Back deep will be Tyshawn Dews as Tony Hornbuckle tees it up at the forty-yard line. Good look at Tyshawn Dews, the WVU commit. Head coach Neil Brown was in attendance during the first half here tonight. Of course, Cabell Midlands' Curtis Jones is committed to play at WVU. The senior running back for the Knights. Hornbuckle, end over end, short kick, taken at the 21 by... Terrell, Terrell is wrapped up around the 30. And they'll put that one down just, well, it looks like at the 31. It'll be first down and 10 for the Redskins. Back and forth we go, Derek. This is what you asked for when yeah, you in high school football. We expected this to be a good game, and so far it has been. I've been impressed with the Hurricane offense being able to move the ball. They've had two really long, sustained drives, and that's been really good for them. First down for the Redskins at their own 31-yard line. Two receivers will line up wide to the right. Tyshawn Dews, the lone receiver here to the boundary. Snap back to long, gives to Velatami, looking for a hole, and he's got a short gain of about two. Not that'll, much room there. That'll bring up second down and eight. We go under five minutes here in third quarter. Ball at the 33-yard line. Quick pass is high, intended for Tyshawn Dews. Incomplete brings up third down and eight. That time it looked like Long just kind of left it up. Sailed it over mm -hmm. top. And third and eight here. This is a big play. Two receivers to each side for Ja'Kai Long. Well, Tommy in the backfield. Long. Down the middle. He's got a receiver open. That's McGrew. Enough for a first down up to the 45-yard line. What a throw by Ja'Kai Long there. I mean, that ball had some zip on it. Rhett McGrew holds got a that one late, in. Real late flag here. And a flag. It's going to be a sideline warning, I believe, on Cabell Midland. So it'll be a first down for Hurricane at their own 45-yard line. Yeah, that ball had some zip on it. Yeah. And two receivers to each side for Long. Takes a snap. Fires it here near side. Dews gets up near the 50 before he is shoved out of bounds by Meter. The Hurricane's been going a lot to that screen a lot there to Tyshawn Dews here in the second half. Um, they've been successful with it. You know, so if it's not broke, don't fix it. And, you know, they've, they've done really well with that play this half. Gain of four. There was a Cattle Midland player still on the field. And I don't believe the officials saw yeah, it. Yeah, I think they did. There's a, here. there's a flag on the 50 okay. on the far, so I think they got that. And then we got Cattle another flag over here. was running players off when the ball was snapped. As the officials come together, referee tonight, Mark Akers. Long discussion out there between the officials. Princeton leading Woodrow Wilson 35 to 20. That's a halftime score.
So we had illegal substitution on Campbell Midland and aiding a runner on Hurricane. No. I thought you could push a runner out. Maybe not in high school. I, I, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Offsetting penalty, second down and six. Ball at the 49-yard line of Hurricane. I just feel like an illegal substitution, that then the aiding the runner shouldn't even happen because it was an illegal substitution. But, hey, what do I know? Guy Long, quarterback, takes a snap. Give Velatami over the left side. A hole opens up, and he'll – Nope, that was not Bellatomi. That was Kylan Grace out there. Looks like he's a little short. Yep. Just inches, third down and inches. Ball is at the 45-yard line. Now it's offside on Camel Medlin. Nice job by Hurricane. That hard count will get him the first down. You know, Capital Millen's really been known for having guys only play one way. This might be the most I've seen them have guys go two ways in a while. And, you know, when you've got guys as talented as they've got, you know, in Lewis and, and Lunsford and Jones and Shockey, I mean, it's hard to keep them off the field. First down and 10 at the 40-yard line. Snap the give to Grace over the left side. He's bounced around, stays on his feet, and shoves ahead almost down to the 35 before they finally bring him down. Nice hard run by Kylan Grace. Yeah, excellent job of that sophomore. Um, you know, he's kind of seeded some snaps to Villatombi here recently, but, you know, good effort by that young man there. Gain of four, second down and six from the 36-yard line. Grace stays into the backfield. Snap. Quick pass over here near side. Caught up near the 30-yard line, out of bounds. I believe that's going to be short of the first down. About a yard short brings up. Third down and one for the Redskins. Two receivers again lined up to the far side with Tyshawn Dews here to the near side. Long takes a snap to give to Grace. He's got the first down and more. And nice job down around the 25, maybe inside the 25 before they bring him down. Another first down for Hurricane. You know, I was talking earlier about them having guys go both ways. I mean, you know, this, I get, I'm going to say probably the first year that Hurricane's got less guys going both ways than, than Cabell Midland. And I think it's starting to show just a little bit. But you, you see um, Cabell Midland platooning players uh -huh. in and out on yeah. defense. Ball at the 24-yard line of Cabell Midland. 2.06 to go here in the third quarter. Snap back to Long to give. Grace bounces out over the right side, and he has brought down to shy the 20 around the 21-yard line. As you see Velatami come back out on to the field. Nice job by Grace. Yeah, excellent job by him. Probably the best running he's done all year. Gain of about three. Brings up second and seven at the 21-yard line. Minute and a half to go here in the third quarter, 28-21. Hurricane leading Cabell Midland in a battle of top five AAA ball clubs. Bad snap, and Long is brought down in the backfield. You know, he's, first half he was able to improvise pretty good on some of those bad snaps, uh, this one not so much. Loss all the way back to the 30-yard line. That snap is crucial. Yeah, so third and 11 now. Yeah, depending on what we do here, you know, this could either be a field goal on fourth down or going for it. Three receivers here to the boundary. Snap back to Long. He's looking left, fires down the middle of the field, Ooh. and almost intercepted. As that one looked like it sailed behind his intended receiver. Yeah, I'm not sure if there was miscommunication on what route Terrell was supposed to run there. Because um, he was open, the ball was behind him. You know, I'm going to guess there was some miscommunication there between Long and Terrell. Take a look at the Putnam County Bank replay. But we, we, we avoided disaster there because that right in the hands of a Cal Millen defender. Luckily, he dropped it. Fourth down and 11. This is a big play. Two receivers here to the near side, a single receiver, and LeBron Dews to the far side. 
Snap back to, to Long. Long looking, feeling pressure. Rolls out to his right and fires down the field incomplete. And Hurricane will turn it over on downs. Big stop there by the Cab Midland defense. Hurricane was, had a little rhythm going in that bad snap. Mm -hmm. So Cabo Midland will take over on downs at their own 25-yard line. Yeah, Will Mitchell does a pretty good job on those PATs, but that would have been about a 42-yard field goal, probably just a little bit outside of his range. Two receivers each side for Robert Shockey. Curtis Jones in the backfield. Snap back, quick throw out to Nida, up across the 30, and run out of bounds up near the 35-yard line, close to a first down for Landon Nida. It'll be second down and one. They place the ball down at the 34-yard line. Shockey takes a snap. He'll keep it over the left side and runs over wow. a defender, Robert Shockey, in the open. And he will take it to the house again. Not going to catch him. Touchdown, Cattle Midland. What a run by Shockey. And Robert Shockey, another 66-yard touchdown run. Well, that was impressive. You take a look at the replay and coming right at you. What a run. He shows off his speed and strength there on that run. And you know, we talked about pregame. You're going to have to wrap up and be sure in your tackling. And, um, you know, these guys aren't necessarily always going to go down on first contact. It's, it's going to take maybe multiple guys to bring these guys down. We'll stay right here with 21.5 seconds to go in the third quarter. We're all tied up at 28 apiece. After a 66-yard touchdown run by Robert Shockey, his second long run, long touchdown run of the evening. Ties it up at 28 apiece. For over 45 years, Tom Moore has taken care of the Valley's auto home and life needs. Conveniently located on Taze Valley Road. Call today for a free quote, 304-757-7711. Or check them out on their website at TomMoreAgency.com. Tom Moore, State Farm Agency, is a proud supporter of Hurricane football. 21.5 seconds to go here in the third quarter. We're all tied up at 28 apiece. We've got a dandy here tonight in Redskin Stadium. Well, this is what you want. You called yeah. me earlier and said, hey, give us a dandy one. Yeah. <laughs> well, you know, some of these games have, you know, <laughs> gotten out of hand and, you know, getting to see a good ball game here. And uh, this is, again, this is what you, this is why all these people came out for this game tonight to see a good one, and, and they're getting their money's worth. Great crowd on hand, both from Hurricane and Campbell Midland. Lauren Buckles got it teed up. Tyson Dews back deep for Hurricane, standing at his own 10-yard line. Lauren Buckles been kick it, kicking it short as he puts his foot into that one. And that will be fielded by Terrell at the 15-yard line here on the near side. Terrell up across the 25, wrapped up around the 27. And that's where the Redskins' offense will start this drive with 16.8 seconds to go here in the third quarter. And this is, again, a crucial drive for both teams, really. You know, the Calvin Midland and Hurricane. How's Hurricane going to respond here? Can Calvin Midland capitalize and build on the momentum from that last play um, leading into the fourth quarter here? Michael Terrell, LaRon Dews split out to the far side. Tyshawn Dews here to the boundary. Snap back to Long, looking for Dews here near side. Now he'll go deep, and that one overthrown, and a flag comes out. That's going to be an ineligible receiver downfield. That's that run pass option you see, and yeah. then it just drives the lineman one, nuts. One of the drawbacks of that, you know, they got a little too eager.
So it'll be a five-yard penalty. It'll remain first down. They'll mark it back to the 24-yard line. Sixth penalty of the evening for Hurricane. First and 15 from their own 24. Long takes the snap. Give Villatami up the middle looking for space, and he works his way up to the 30-yard line. They give him the 31. He'll take us into the fourth quarter here. And time has winded down here in the third quarter. We've got a dandy one. 28 all, number one Campbell Midland and number three Hurricane right here on Video Productions. PCB is a longstanding partner in our community. We're your neighbors, your teammates, and your friends. And we want to be your banker. We're a team of experienced professionals focused on the personal, residential, and business needs of our community. We make decisions locally, quickly, and with your best interest in mind. We care about you, your family, your business, and your goals. We're PCB, a proud community bank. Open an account with us today. Welcome back to Jim McGee Field here at Redskin Stadium in Hurricane West Virginia. It's number one, Cabo Midland, and number three, Hurricane, all tied up as we head to the fourth quarter. Jack Wither alongside Derek Ragel and our terrific video productions crew here tonight. It'll be second down and eight for Hurricane as we start the fourth quarter. Robert Shockey, three touchdown runs tonight. And that was matched by Noah Bellatombi's three touchdown runs for Hurricane. So the Stars have shown up tonight for both of these teams. Yes, sir. Snap back long. He'll roll to his near side here. Looking deep, he fires downfield, and that one over the outreach hands of Tyshawn Dews. Incomplete pass. Brings up third down. Got a little greedy there. He had the run. It looked like Terrell uh -huh. opened short there. Mm -hmm. Third and nine. All at the 31-yard line over on the far hash. Split two receivers here to the near side for quarterback Ja'Kai Long. He'll take the snap. Great drop back. Looking for running room. Breaks a tackle. Long up across the 40. He's got the first down and more, and they drag him down at the 48-yard line. Great job improvising by Jakan there. Again, making things happen with his legs when he can't find the receiver. First down and 10 at the 48-yard line for Hurricane. The give, Bellatami over the left side. Bellatami's got five yards, and a wall him up there right around the 45-yard line, give him a gain of seven. And might have gave him a gain of eight as they spot it, Looks like it. at the 44-yard line of Cabell Midland. So second down and two, a gain of eight for Bellatami. We're missing our stat man tonight. Yeah. Josh, wherever you are, buddy, we're, we're missing your, your stat work. Long, the snap there goes is. right through his snap hands, again. and he'll dive on it all the way back at the 39-yard line. That hurts big time. That's about third and, and – That one just went right through his hands. What was it, third and 18? And spotted back at the 40-yard line. Yep. So it is third down and 18 for Hurricane. Two receivers to each side for the Redskins. Long. Quarterback draw. Makes a move there at the 45 and brought down hard back at the Cattle Midland 48-yard line. Coach Mays has a decision to make here. I'm going to guess he's going to go for it. Uh, what it looks like. 
That'll bring up fourth down and about six for the Redskins. Line to gain is the 42. They're at the 48-yard line. Well, Cal Millen, you've got to get off the field on this play here. The Hurricane, you're just looking to move the chains. Play clock at nine. Long's got Vela Tommy in the backfield. Takes the snap. Great drop back. Rolls to his right. Now fires downfield. And that is incomplete. Broken up by Landon Nida. Good stop and stand there by Cabo Midland's defense. And, you know, the momentum's really swung their way. You had that big play by Shockey last time the Cabo Midland offense was out there. And a big, big series here by the Cabo Midland defense stopping the Hurricane offense. And here we go. Now Hurricane defense has got to respond. Cabo Midland will take over 9.17 to go at their own 48-yard line. Curtis Jones lined up behind Robert Shockey, two receivers at each side. Shockey, near side, caught up across the 45, down around the 40. That'll be enough for a first down for Campbell Midland. That one hauled in by Miles Meter. First down and 10 for Campbell Midland at the Hurricane 38 yard line. Shockey takes a snap. He'll keep it up the middle. He's got running room again and brought down around the 25-yard line. Another first down for Cabell Midland. Hurricane has got to figure that out. I mean, Shockey is getting large chunks of yards on that on the zone read-like look there and just keeping the ball and finding a hole in the middle and, and getting, like I said, big chunks of yards. First down and 10 for Cabell Midland at the 25-yard line. Shockey. Give over the right side. Curtis Jones bounces it out outside and dives forward. A late flag comes in from the referee. He's in the backfield of Cabell Midland. Looks like it's against Midland. So holding on Cabell Midland. Fourth penalty of night backs him up to the 32 yard line. First down and 17. Shockey takes a snap. He'll throw here near side to meter and he is Bottled up there just inside the 30. Good job by Jaden Smith not letting him go. And holding him up until someone else can come over and help him finish the job. They'll bring up second down and about 13 for Cabell Midland. Ball here on the near hash. It's a 28-yard line. Two receivers again. Split to each side, snap back, shocky option over the right side, keeps it, spin around, breaks a tackle, and finally brought down inside the 20, down around the 16-yard line, short of the first down. Maybe two yards short. You know, we look saw, at the replay. Yeah, we saw shocky play last year, obviously, when Hurricane faced off with Parker South in the playoffs last year. But this first time I actually got to see him in person. I didn't make it to Parker last year. I've been real impressed. Third down and two. Shockey, bad snap, balls on the turf. And I believe Robert Shockey was able to cover it up. And there is the bad snap again. I'm telling you, I think that ball is getting slick from where, again, it was eight, 80s earlier today. It's dropped down to the low 60s, and I think there's some dew out there, and the ball's getting wet, and I think that's causing some problems. Ball is spotted back at the 23-yard line, right in the middle of the field. And I'm not sure what Hornbuckle has in dis distance-wise. But it looks like they keep the offense out there. And they'll go for it for fourth down. Hurricane needs to get off the field here. Shockey takes a snap. And he is Great brought pressure. down, sacked. Joey Keanu with the sack. And Hurricane will take over. 
What they a brought the pressure Joey. up the middle that time with the blitz. As Shockey faked the handoff, he was going to roll back to the near uh, side flag here. on the play. Not sure what the flag's was, about. I think maybe sideline warning because it was way, way late after the play. So it is a sideline warning on Hurricane. But they will take over on downs after the big sack by Joey Keanu. Huge play by Joey Keanu, former student of mine, great kid. Glad to see him come up big in a, in a big moment for his team. Ball's at the 31-yard line, six and a half minutes to go here in the fourth quarter. We're all tied up, 28 apiece. Noah Velatami will be back out there in the backfield with quarterback Ja'Kai Long as a split wide to the far side, Tyshawn Dews. Long takes the snack, Velatami up the middle, spins around and pushes forward up near the 35, it'll be short of the 35 at the 34-yard line. Yeah, just over six minutes now left in the game. Bring up second down and seven. Ball spotted at the 34-yard line. Perkin being a little more methodical here than they, they typically are, especially with the you know time and score. Villatami to the left of Long. Snap back, Long looking. Rolls here to the near side, still looking. Now dumps it down. villatami has got it across the 40 and out of bounds around the 45-yard line. Uh, yeah, he's going to pick it up. That'll be enough for a first down. Actually, he was out at the 43. But a nice job there as they extend the play out, and he just dumps it down to his running back in Velatombi. Again, they've done a great job. It's almost like schoolyard foot football, you know? I mean, they're just the plays break down, and they just kind of improvise a little bit and make things happen, and um, that's been a real strong point for them tonight. First down at the 43-yard line. Snap back to Long to give to Velatombi up the middle, and he shoves ahead. Nice gain on first down all the way up to the 48-yard line. Just waiting for when he pitches it out to Villa Tommy. Villa Tommy comes up and throws one deep. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Because <laughs> he was the quarterback, yeah, and it still I'm, is a great quarterback. I'm sure they might have that in the <laughs> playbook somewhere. Or maybe look for a dump pass to McGrew down the middle. Mm -hmm. Fires near side high, but nice taken in. That'll be enough for a first down inside Cabell Midland territory. LeBron Dews goes up. The ladder and takes that one out of the air for the first down. And clock continues to roll. First down and 10 at the 46 yard line. High snap, Velatami straight up the middle and a gain of about three on that one. It looked like it almost went through Jakai's hands, so good job of catching that and getting it into Noah's hands. Gain of about three, brings up second down, and well, they give him four, second down and six, ball at the 40, just outside of the 42-yard line. Definitely not 70 yards, folks, if you're watching from home. It's, <laughs> school board's it's not got second down and 70. School board's exactly. got seven. <laughs> Two receivers to the far side, snap back. They bring pressure off the edges, and... Ball is loose on the turf. I'm not sure if he was down. They do say he was down. Yeah. I thought he was. Gets back about to the line of scrimmage. So looking at third and six here. Big play. Another big third down for Hurricane. We're now under four minutes. Tie ball game. Sophomore Kylan Grace in the backfield. Bella Tommy out for a break. Third and five at the 41 yard line. 10 seconds on the play clock. And I believe they're going to call a timeout here. And that's what they do. Donnie Mays takes a timeout with 3.28 to go here in the fourth quarter. All tied up 28 apiece. We'll take a timeout as well. You're watching live streaming coverage of Hurricane Football right here on Video Productions. Where is home? Home is where we live, work, and play. 
It's in the small, quiet moments and the memories we capture. For 35 years, we've been here with you, building home together. Three twenty-eight to go here in the fourth quarter. Twenty-eight, twenty-eight. Number one, Cabell Midland, and number three, Hurricane. As you take a look at the huddle there, over on the far sideline, head coach Luke Selmans and his Knights. Defense needs a big stop for Hurricane. Driving it, third down, and five from the Cabell Midland forty-one yard line. As Donnie Mays took a timeout to talk about it. Melatombe back into the backfield for Hurricane. Long takes a snap, gives to Melatombe. He's looking to throw, fires downfield, and that was out of bounds. Mm. Oh, well, I called it. <laughs> yeah, that's going to say. There's that play you were talking about. But the throw was wide of the target. Dews came down with it, but he came down out of bounds with it. Oh, that hurts. Yes, I don't think the yep. replay got it. That would have been a first down for sure. Yep. Well defended, though, by Cabell Midland. And this brings up a big fourth down. Arguably the play of the game here. Then on the play clock, two receivers to the far side. Snap is back to Long. Long straight drop back. Got pressure. Reverses, and he is going to be brought down at the 46-yard line. Did you see the replay? A big play by Cabell Midland that time, and they've got first down and 10 at their own 47-yard line. Just and over now, three minutes, and, I mean, they, as we saw at the end of the first half, they, they can eat up clock, and they took it all the way down to three seconds left. Curtis Jones lined up behind Shockey. Snap. Shockey keeps it, and he is wrapped up by several like the ball was ripped out, but I believe they blew the whistle first before uh, before forward progress. It was Grace that came out of there with it. Take a look at the replay. And they definitely ripped the ball out, but I believe they blew the whistle before. Yep. So No gain on the play. Brings up second down and ten. Midland breaks the huddle. Nine on the play clock. Shockey takes a snap. He'll pitch it over to the right side. Curtis Jones. Jones up across the 50 before he's upended. And brought down at the 48-yard line of Hurricane. Brings third, up third down. Yeah, third and four, I think. Nice hard run there by Curtis Jones. Good-looking player. I look for him to have a good career there at WVU. It's third down and five. Line the game is at the 43-yard line for Campbell Midland. Look for Shockey to keep it. Nope, he gives it over to the left side. Looking for running room and nowhere to go as Hurricane comes up big with a big stop on third down. It's like a loss of two or three on that play, so that's going to be fourth and eight. They gave it to Jaden Branch. On a little counter there, but Hurricane, and you see Julian Grace right there, just had that bottled in. Mm -hmm. Excellent so job for that Hurricane defense that series. About a minute and a half left, clock's rolling. It looks like Midland's going to go for it here. Here fourth, we go, Jack. Fourth down and eight. Ball at the 49-yard line, watch for the hard snap here. And they try it. Gotta stay disciplined there. Four watch. on the play clock, and they're going to call timeout. Watch the ball. They call timeout. Luke Salmons wants to talk about it. They tried the hard count. It didn't work. Nice job by the Cabell, or by the Hurricane defense to hold the water. 
So a timeout by Campbell Midland with 1.08 to go. For over 45 years, Tom Moore has taken care of the Valley's auto home and life needs. Conveniently located on Taze Valley Road. Call today for a free quote at 304-757-7711 or check them out on their website at TomMoreAgency.com. Tom Moore, State Farm Agency, is a proud supporter of Hurricane football. 28 all, number one, Cattle Midland, number three, Hurricane in Class AAA. And partner, this is not the last good game we've got on tap here on video production. No. Cabell Midland still has to play Huntington. And then Hurricane, the last game of the regular season, travels down to Huntington. What a slate of games over the next couple weeks. Oh, my goodness. Looks like they're going to, okay, they got Shockey deep to punt. They still got to watch for the they fake. Watch Shockey. the fake here. And finally they'll put Tyshawn Dews back. Snap back, and the kick is away. Good kick by Shockey. Just get away from it. And it'll bounce. And rolls inside the 10 down near the 5 at the 6-yard line. So 55 seconds to go here in regulation. And Hurricane offense back out on the field. Got to go 94 yards. As a quarterback, I'm sure this is something that Ja'Kai Long, you know, out in the front yard or backyard, you know, dreamed of doing and, you know, being in this situation. And uh, here we go. Actually, they spotted at the seven-yard line. Back in the first half, Hurricane had a 95-yard drive and ended in a touchdown. And now they've got to go 97 here in 55 seconds. Tie ball game, 28 all. And they're going to have to call timeout. Play clock is down to zero. Mm. And mm -hmm. Donnie Mays is livid right now. He was wanting it reset. As Mays pleading, hey, play clock should have been reset is what his argument is. I'm not sure if he's going to win it or not. Well, that's a killer. Now you're down to one timeout. you got to go 93 yards, 55 seconds. It's going to be tough to do. But, hey, as I'm sure as, as WVU fans know, <laughs> <laughs> crazy stranger. things happen. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> exactly. Oh, gosh. Maybe Neil should have stuck around a little bit. Yeah, I, I wish I'd stayed awake last night to watch that. I did uh, not either. I was Well, I mean, I'm, maybe I'm glad I didn't, but heck of a game. I think Coach Mays was kind of – he wasn't necessarily trying to call a timeout. He was telling him the play clock to be reset. Yeah. Didn't win the argument, so Hurricane takes the timeout. Well, as I always told my basketball players, you're not going to win those arguments with the officials. Just <laughs> be quiet and move on to the next play. They're not going to change the call. Trips lined up here to the near side, a single receiver to the far side for Ja'Kai Long. He'll take the snap, give to Velatami up the middle. Velatami over the left side, up across the 15, and out of bounds. Up around the 18, he's got enough for a first down for Hurricane. Nice job by Noah getting the first down and getting out of bounds. Take a look at the replay. Nice blocking by that offensive mm -hmm. line. First down and 10 for the Redskins. Ball's actually at the 19-yard line. Long. Drops back, looking deep. Now flushed out. Got a man wide open down the middle. That's McGrew up across the 40, 45. McGrew pushing ahead and into Cabell Midland territory. He's across the 50. Hurricanes got to get on the ball and clock it. Or maybe not. They may not clock it. They may just go. They're used to going at this fast pace. First down and 10 for Hurricane at the 48-yard, excuse me, the 47-yard line. Quickly on the ball, the Redskins. Snap back, long, looking. Now flushed out of the pocket, long, looking for the sidelines and up around, up near the first down stick. He's out of bounds with 21.4 seconds. That is enough for another first down for Hurricane, but that's not what they're wanting. They're wanting pay dirt. Yeah. We're at the, yeah, 30, 
between the 36 and 37. And you got to look at Will Mitchell, the kicker, as well. And what's his range? He's hit, I believe, a 32-yarder a couple of times earlier this season. First down and 10, ball at the 36-yard line. Long takes the snap. Plenty of time, rolls to his right, now flicks it downfield, out of bounds. Just threw that one away. 14 seconds left here. Brings up second down for Hurricane. What a game, Jack. <laughs> I think if you're Coach Mays, you probably want to get about at least 10, 15 yards here. And, you know, if you're going to you know, try to kick a field goal, definitely out of uh, Will Mitchell's range right now. Second down and 10 from the 36-yard line. Snap back, long. Throws it, McGrew caught and inside the 30, brought down around the 26, and timeout called with 9.6 seconds to go. That is Hurricane's last time out, however. So that will give him a first down at the 26-yard line of Cabell Midland. That's about a 43-yard field goal. Yeah, I don't know about this one. This would I mean, have if to they be, decide to kick it, you know. Right. Maybe if they could get a quick out to the sidelines, mm -hmm. completion, where you can get out of bounds with maybe three or four seconds left. Yeah, I mean, you've definitely got time for two plays here. Um, having no timeouts left is, is problematic, um, but uh, you got time for two plays, but you've got to get out of bounds on, on the first play. You throw it to the end zone. <laughs> yeah, there you go, too. <laughs> Easy for me to say. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. That's <laughs> that always works, too. End zone is always good. A little play action fake and toss it up in the end zone for Dews. Uh, Rem McGrew has came up big here in he this has. series. 9.6 seconds. Snap back. They'll go to the near side and out of bounds at the 22-yard line. 39-yarder. 6.9 seconds. I think, and it looks like they're going to try it, a field goal. I can't help but think about my mom always gets nervous watching football games and the field goal kicker happened to kick. So this will be a 39-yard field goal from the near hash. A lot of pressure on this Senior young Will Mitchell. A 4.25 GPA for this individual, and they take a timeout. And Campbell Midland wants to put a little ice on him. You can't take him home, so why not use him? Exactly. So with 6.9 seconds, we'll stay right here. And a 39-yard attempt, his longest of this year was 31 when I look back at the stats. I mean, he definitely has a lot on his, you know, PATs. He does. I, I think he's got the leg to get it there. But it all comes down, and especially in high school, is the snap and the hold. Yep, <laughs> yep. Snap Not so the much hold. the kicker, but right. everything has to be in tune. Will Mitchell, the senior, I talked to him a couple weeks ago. He's wanting to play soccer in college. He's got some interest here locally. I asked him, what about football? He said, it wouldn't be bad either. Well, hey, with a 4.25, <laughs> he, he can go just probably a lot of places on academics. So Will Mitchell, the senior kicker from the right hash, a 39-yard attempt. And again, another timeout taken by Campbell Midland. That's their last one. And we'll take a quick time out. We'll be back. You're watching live streaming coverage of Hurricane Football right here on Video Productions. Putnam Career and Technical Center is now enrolling for exciting adult learning opportunities. Register now for our certified medical assistant programming with in-person and virtual classes or our heavy equipment operator, where you will be learning hands-on on how to operate bulldozers, skid steers, excavators, and more. Both programs will have you certified and on path to a fulfilling career in as little as six months. Don't wait. Classes begin in January. Call now, 304-586-3494, extension 4406, or visit us online at pctc.edu. 
Welcome back to Jim McGee Field here at Redskins Stadium in Hurricanes, number one Campbell Midland, number three Hurricane. And it all comes down to the kicker and senior Will Mitchell. He's only been kicking a football for about three months now. And he's got an opportunity to win it here for the Redskins. A 39-yard attempt from the right hash. Snap is back, the hold is down, the kick is away, and it's on the way. It is good! Will Mitchell, 39 Will Mitchell. yarder. With 2.8 seconds to go, and the senior drills it through the uprights to give Hurricane a 31-28 lead. We take a look at the replay from the end zone. And again, so much has to go right, and that one sneaks in over on there the left go. side for Will Mitchell. I'm so happy for that young man. I, I, I'm sure he was as nervous as I'll get out, but what an excellent job by him to get the ball through the uprights. 2.8 seconds. And you alluded to the W-Houston game last yep. night. It is never over, folks. <laughs> Absolutely not. It is never over <clears throat> as Hurricane will kick off. And we have had a wonderful game here tonight. Derek, man, this has been fun. I know our stat man couldn't be here, and he's probably wishing he was here and don't know where he's at tonight. But That's all right, Josh. We're having enough fun, buddy. <laughs> we had the hot dogs before the game tonight. <laughs> Compliments to LNR. LNR, yep. It'll be Grayson Maddox, the senior kicker. He and Will Mitchell, goalkeepers for the Hurricane Redskins. And what a season they have had over on the pitch this year. And you just kick, kick it deep, you squib it. What do you do here, Derek? Well, I, I, <laughs> you know, you got Curtis Jones back there. You probably want to keep it away from him. They kick it into it. the ground. Ball hits and it is downed at the 20. Seven yard line. It was touched up around the 40 yard line by a Midland player. And Hurricanes coaching staff saying, Hey, why didn't the clock start? And now the clock says 1.9 on the. Take I don't a look at the replay here. And right there, 81. Yeah. A little out of focus, touched the ball. I don't but know. this allows one play. I'm for Cabin Midland. I'm, I'll have to do is stand in here and talk. Does Hurricane <laughs> have any six foot eight kids that, that they can put way back yeah. there? <laughs> hey, bat it down. Don't try to catch it. One last play, and they empty the backfield. Or do they? People having flashbacks to Houston last night. <laughs> And here we go. Is there any magic in Robert Shockey? Jones will line up into the backfield with Shockey. 1.9 seconds, takes the snap. They flick it out to Jones. Jones looking for running room, and he will be brought down, and Hurricane will defeat Cabell Midland by a final score of 31 to 28. We'll take a break. We'll come back and wrap it up from Redskins Stadium. You're watching live streaming coverage of Hurricane Redskins football presented by Putnam Career and Technical Center. Putnam Career and Technical Center is now enrolling for exciting adult learning opportunities. Register now for our certified medical assistant programming with in-person and virtual classes or our heavy equipment operator, where you will be learning hands-on on how to operate bulldozers, skid steers, excavators, and more. Both programs will have you certified and on path to a fulfilling career in as little as six months. Don't wait. Classes begin in January. Call now, 304-586-3494, extension 4406, or visit us online at pctc.edu. PCB is a long-standing partner in our community. We're your neighbors, your teammates, and your friends. And we want to be your banker. We're a team of experienced professionals focused on the personal, residential, and business needs of our community. We make decisions locally, quickly, and with your best interest in mind. We care about you, your family, 
your business and your goals. We're PCB, a proud community bank. Open an account with us today. I'm Dr. Chad Lavender. My fertilized ACL technique has gained national and international attention. It all started here on a small football field in West Virginia. That's where my passion to help athletes and others began. I personally have had uh, 19 uh, different states and locations that patients have traveled from uh, for this ACL reconstruction. is where we live, work, and play. It's in the small, quiet moments and the memories we capture. For 35 years, we've been here with you, building home together. Little General Stores has been serving West Virginia communities for almost five decades. We are so grateful to be a small part of your lives, and we want to recognize the integral part of our operation, the LG family. You keep us going. Thank you. Welcome back inside Redskins Stadium. Jim McGee Field here in Hurricane, West Virginia. Final score, Hurricane defeats Cabell Midland 31-28 as you see the Redskins celebrating with their student section out on the field tonight, and what a great game, Derek we had here tonight and I know we've seen a lot of blowouts and lopsided games but this this was a gym that we were just dying for yeah, and I we mean, got what a one. great game this is what high school football is all about you know you had two t two great teams trading punches both teams playing their hearts out I, I thought Cal Millen definitely played a great game played well enough to win um, and so did Hurricane and you know yep. only one team can win and Hurricane just came out on top at the end there made one last play to win the game which was the field goal by Will Mitchell and um, just a great ball game yep as you said Will Mitchell a 39 yard field goal with 6.9 seconds on the clock to win it for Hurricane that's his longest field goal of the season and the senior Man, you got to really be happy for him and 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 his uh, teammates tonight. Will, a soccer player, along with his teammate Grayson Maddox, as you see, head coach Donnie Mays down on the field getting interviewed tonight. Uh, just a, a a great job by the Redskins tonight. But the season's not over. No, no. Nope. I mean, these both these teams they've got Huntington still to come. I believe it's uh, Capital Midland at Huntington. Next Friday night, it is on the 20th. And Huntington, if you take a look at the score, they lead in the fourth quarter up in Parkersburg, 49-14. to 14. We'll have that one right here on Video Productions. And then at the end of the season, it'll be Hurricane traveling down to Huntington to cap off the regular season. And, again, that one will be live right here on Video Productions. Mm -hmm. So that'll do it. From here at Redskin Stadium, again, we want to thank everybody for tuning in and a wonderful job tonight, our producer and Robbie Mounts and our video production crew tonight. For my partner here, Derek Riggle, I'm Jack Whitlow. The final score, number three, Hurricane defeats number one, Cabell Midland, 31-28. to You've been watching live streaming coverage of Hurricane Redskins football right here on Video Productions. Good night. <laughs>